Hello, everybody. This is Hello. Dilek. My name is Dilek. And uh, I am the Director of Sales and Marketing at Nocta Macro Detectors. And I'm here with Volkan, who is our sales manager. Let's welcome Matt and Toby. We're here today with Matt and Toby, who are our heroes, basically, who are the <laughs> two guys who found, uh, two of the guys who found this big hoard that was discovered at Spring Detectable just yeah. a few weeks ago. So guys, we have a few questions for you today. Shall we start? Yes, we're ready. Okay, very good. So what got you um, What got you started in metal detecting? How did you get into metal detecting? Like, technically, I think Matt should start because I follow him. <laughs> he told me about the metal detecting, so I think it was first was like him his idea. So true yeah. is since we was a little boys, both of me and Toby, because Toby is my brother, obviously. Uh, we was the scouts. We love to fish and we love to climb, swim, and whatever happened outdoor. And uh, after we get bored a little bit with the fishing and landscapes and everything, we was thinking like, oh, let's try doing the metal detector. Detecting, so well, basically that hobby was everywhere. Wherever you move, uh, it was a newspaper, on telly, uh, on the Facebook. So it was uh, quite popular. So we just tried. That's it. We just tried something new, as the different things in the life. We try another, another something new for us. What was really excited on the begin because probably what's happened with us. We love to learn, and we try to find the new ways of new adventures and. That's basically what makes us doing a metal detecting first time. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so my second question to you is, now you guys are both using a Nocta Macro Cruiser, correct? Since oh. begin, that's the first hour machines. <laughs> okay, very good. So what made you guys choose this machine over others? Because obviously there are many options in the market. So yeah, like I think it was like we started looking on the YouTube, like uh, people who like uh, present on you know new machines. We checked like um, other machines as well. The prices was uh, quite you know important for us as well because we're gonna like spend like first time like 300, but we check oh maybe it was 400. We add, add another hundred pounds, so maybe it will be better. So we stop like around 600. We so say, like, basically, maybe. why we but, stick with the cruiser was. Uh, Top quality with from nice price. price, you know what I mean? You don't have to overpay it for the quality what the cruiser brings in our life, to be honest, because as a first machine, uh, I never want to give up on it. The, the main stuff was like, take the time, learn it, and just carry on. So we never had any things about changing machines. So probably that was a good thing good in stuff. how we choose the cruiser on compared to the different stuff on the market. So now let's talk about the amazing discovery that you made uh, during the Spring Detectable. What, what were your feelings? Like We're still <laughs> boozling, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, still watching the movie and I can't believe it. That's happened, really. <laughs> yeah, it was an amazing situation because after one hour detecting, we hit the hot spot straight away. So if you're going to ask me how was it on the detective, we don't know. I, I can't tell you. But if you want to ask me what's happened on the other side of Behind cake, the like, yeah, cake, uh, that was amazing. That was something incredible. When you're watching all the movies, when you start, you know, how people find the hoard how the history like, is when discovered, you're time team, time team, time like, teams or whatever, and imagine. one day that's happened to you, it's 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 unbelievable, you know what I mean? It's like someone take a massive book, you know, that book it challenge, that's what <laughs> life do to us, you know? <laughs> that, that's what's happened, shock, Big massive shock. deep shock. Happiness, uh -huh. obviously, happiness, yeah, that's yeah. the main feelings. So. Very good, very good, very exciting, very exciting. Let me ask you a question, I'm curious. So. When did you first realize that you had discovered the hoard? That it was a hoard that was being discovered? Do, do you know what Thank I'm you. trying to say? To be honest, the uh, situation was uh, Something clear similar. by the law and clear against everyone who was detecting around. Yeah, Like five, <laughs> six, seven people hit the main area, but they just pick it up single, single coin. coin. So that time no one stopped it because by the law have to be three or more coins in one hole what you're digging off. Uh, and after when everyone circulate, I just walk around on the top because I don't want to cross anyone else's road. So I just walk on the top 
I try get, got massive signal, but what's happened? The cruiser show me uh, get break. You know what I mean? One slow and show me couple singles signals in, but in one massive beat. Yeah, yeah, so that uh-huh. made me realize I don't want to use a shuffle anymore. So I just use my hand. And when I use my hands, I had like four or five coins on my hands. Oh, another wow. three on the, or from the soil where I take it up from the hole. And when I put a pinpointer inside, the sound was like going all around. So. And then he called me, Toby, Toby, come so, here. I said, what's going on? <laughs> Coming to the hall, like already on the shuffle was like five, eight coins already. Oh I, my God. I, I can't believe it. I think that's happened to us. We have the heart. <laughs> <laughs> and after uh, we asked people who got the mobile phone for the staff, for the main uh, guy who ran the event, and we asked him for the rapport, the heart for us. So since that point, I ask everyone to stop digging because that area belonged to us since that moment. So everyone stopped. Uh, we have to create a special close area just for us and for people who give us a hunt with the uh, scatters coins because it was uh, 276 200, coins in the first day. So we really appreciate everyone helps. Yeah. So since that, I, I can't remember more things. You know, you know, like a dream, you know what I mean? Dream and you wake up and you remember and you get to remember more things later on when you come down, yeah, sure. everything yeah. is spread out, yeah. Wow, wow. I believe that the final count was around 500 silver okay. hammer. That's right. Yes. How many yes. exactly? How many exactly? 545 plus uh, fragments, so that's mean, like few uh, we call it like half quarter cuts, museum call them fragments, plus obviously on the top of everything, 12 gold full nobles. gold nobles, yeah. So we're, we're talking about 545 silver, silver, silver coins. hammer coins, yes, and silver like few, few, kind, few kind of uh, pennies, because yeah. they got like a Scottish one, uh, Irish one, uh, was continental. continental, so it's like King Edward, like, minted them France. in the France. So minted for the UK and France, the same coin, but like was different thing on the back. So it was like no three dots, it was like eagle or something like some bird. And one very rare coin was like a French with a church on the on the on the side it was lovely, <laughs> lovely. Even wow. Irish, uh, miss, miss we never was, seen uh, it one in my life, not on auction anywhere. Never. never. Wow. I never thought even thinking the coin like that existed. With the church. You know, so it was <laughs> incredible, <laughs> incredible. And, uh, and how gold. many gold, gold coins? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve full nobles. So how long have you guys been, you know, metal detecting to find all this stuff? Not long. <laughs> we don't want to make any people jealous, but it's not even one full year for, for me. him. Uh, I got like serious? one year and two weeks because I gone the uh, first time just myself because he fly to the holiday. So I drive like over 200 miles from Newcastle to the south and come back. So I drive like six hours both way. <laughs> and I found Bad my man. first coin, first Victoria coin, penny. Anyway, it was very good day for me because i found you know first coin on the first uh, commercial dig yeah so very good day for me anyway so i don't want to make people any more jealous telling once again it was less than one year you know <laughs> I mean, no, seriously, i mean I, I i thought you it would be longer than that but yeah amazing only one but year not even good one machine year. hard work we choose always nice proper areas yeah that's, that's what it. give you the success. That's what bring yeah. you know coins and uh, funds. Yeah. Simply like that. You have to yeah. think what you're doing. It's not just like simply walking and swinging. You know what I mean? Sure. You have to sure. prepare sure. yourself a little bit, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you have... Prepare yourself, yeah, and you put your own heart in it. That's how the results come back to you. So exactly. 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 There's a lot of factors involved. Yeah. In yeah. Fun. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, what are your other favorite finds with the cruiser? Have you ever had any other favorite finds uh, apart apart from this horde? Yes, maybe I'm going to begin. Since I started with the cruiser, what not even give me a full year yet. So, I got a whole share with uh, with my friends and with my brother. I got 30 silver coins, including hammer coins. Celtic silver unit, uh, full grots, short cross, long cross, wow. edges. So I'm over the moon, to be honest, with the machines. Plus, I got some Roman silver as well. So like I yeah. said, 
Oh, it's, it's not just the hoard, yeah? The machine is really, very, really nice for the coins. That's what I basically collecting. I prefer coins than the different finds. So like I said, the cruiser just create machine for me, you know, it's perfect for me, real. Do you have any tips and recommendations for anybody who has recently bought the cruiser? Uh, do you have anything to tell them? You can watch the YouTube. It's very easy. I'm very happy for the free software from the from your company. What is provide? That that's really brilliant. Thank uh, you. you ask plenty of right. questions as a producer to what you can improve. <laughs> you cannot change. Uh, as a cruiser, as a new beginner, I had no problem with it. I just learn about it, take my time, and uh, that's it. That's it. Someday, yeah, like. Thank you. Thank we met you. the guy who got the multi cruiser as well, so we support him straight away because he used like second time or yeah, something. Yeah. We already know it's like because um, I, when I started using the cruiser, I used to use like two tons, and on the some commercial dig, the guy tell me use like three or four will be much much better for you. And since mm -hmm. when I started ton four, I found much much more better stuff, you know, because was like four tons difference. So, yes, pram. Uh, uh, I got a little advice. Uh, for people who gonna start uh, with a cruiser machine, uh, take slow, take low, yeah, and you don't have to get suggestion from all around everyone, yeah, because that's the way how it's make simply for you. But if you're gonna start and learn machine by yourself, the mm -hmm. setups what I got now, what I mean, I built by myself, and after I realized. That's the special extra settings on the on the main website and what the people using. But I never copy that. So that's Very what good. I'm thinking. Yeah, that's the best way to learn the machine. Just do it by yourself a few times. You cannot expect that silver gold straight away. Yeah, mm. you have to learn. And, and, and if you learn yourself, not copy from different people, you will understand different condition of the soil different weather condition and which program going to be better for that situation you know okay so now you guys i don't know if this is going to be the right question but normally if you ask anybody what's on your wish list you know what other finds do you do you want to have you guys found the hoard so i don't know what else <laughs> yeah, you have the on your wish list. do you uh, still have items on your finds that you have on your wish list I don't want to sound greedy, but I want to have another <laughs> board. <laughs> but this time, not hammer coins, maybe Rome, maybe Celtic, something like a little bit older. So and that's time, me. And this time with an amphibio, maybe. You never know. Right? <laughs> amphibio, amphibio could probably help, you know, because most of the hoard, they're not <laughs> on the surface, you know what I mean? That's why we excavate them one after one, because the plow machine get deeper and they bring all the stuff up. So end of the day, uh, using deeper machine, even more high technique one, that will be brilliant, you know what I mean? That will be brilliant. The event or the help us like pick Very up. Good. Uh, now, my last question. What do you guys feel? Or what would you tell uh, to people about Nocta Macro? What, like, how do you feel about Nocta Macro as a company, uh, our company, our products? And what would you tell to people who have never ever used, let's say, a Nocta Macro product before? Do you have anything to tell them? Talk to me. Would you? Okay. Simply, quality, very fast, because that's what I love in that machine. It's yeah. very quick. And I realized after some time, I prefer scan more field than go slow and missing everything. Since I hit the main point, that's where I'm start going slow and low. Uh, very easy machine for it. Uh, companies coordinate with the users. Like I said, you, you, you give us a free software, free updates, what never happened in, in different places. Yeah. Uh, I think I can compare macro to like Apple or Google, you know what I mean? You try to be with everyone. You try to oh, create you. family mood in your company as well. So that's mean your product's going to be better as well on the end. So it's thank not just the pressure for money, it's the pressure for quality 
and for the happiness of the user that that that's my feeling that's my that's what thank I'm you. thank you so much i really appreciate it and yes we really try to make our users happy uh, our customers happy it's true and we're just trying our best to come out with better and better machines and yes. uh we thank you guys for your time congratulations thank again. you very much appreciate that we're so happy that the cruisers, you guys, and with your cruisers, were part of this big, you know, exceptional. Uh, famous. Uh, that's what my brother said a few weeks ago. We're going to make cruiser fame one day. And that was really before the detective, I swear. Right? Uh, very good. <laughs> so, job done. Job done. Thank you. We hope to see you at Detectable. Full yeah. Detectable. Yeah, You're going to be there. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.